So it has been recently revealed that Jim Ryan is leaving PlayStation and it's got many people wondering, does this affect PlayStation in a good way or a bad way? In this video, I will discuss that point. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Jim Ryan has been no stranger to controversy as he has said some questionable things in the past. One of the examples is how he has said backwards compatibility is overrated and it's kind of nuts how he actually said that. This has led many people to blame him for PS Plus's poor collection of classic games as well as PlayStation's poor handling of backwards compatibility. This is completely reasonable since he was the CEO when PS Plus went through its entire overhaul and they aren't really trying to fix their backwards compatibility problem right now. Another reason is that he caused the company to shift in the direction of live service games as well as the PC and mobile market. This however is a completely reasonable move to me as PlayStation needs to expand their horizons and it's good that they are offering their games to other platforms. The games that they were offering during the PS4 generation and the start of the PS5 generation were great, don't get me wrong, but they don't have the best variety. It's mostly single player third person games and it's great that they are trying new genres like you know some knife service games. Sony needs more multiplayer games under their belt especially since they are rising their online prices by a ridiculous amount so they need to give us some sort of reason. Jim Ryan has also stated that their single player games will be PlayStation's bread and butter but I will have to see it to believe it. Because once a company has a successful live service game, the money they make will be insane so it might attract Sony to go in a much different direction. But despite these potential problems, it's not a bad thing that PlayStation's first party games are trying to explore different genres. Another reason he wasn't really liked as much was because he wasn't presenting as many well-received ideas like the previous CEOs were doing. Plus, he wasn't nearly as charismatic as someone like Sean Layden, Andrew House or Kaz Hirai. It doesn't also help his case that PlayStation has bad communication with the community and their marketing this generation has not been as good as it was in the PS4 generation. Their games are only now being promoted one month before release and their reasoning behind this is that those games will definitely sell and they want to save money. But even though that's true, it wouldn't really hurt to promote your game a bit more throughout the months cause it generally builds more hype around it which will lead to it performing better and you will have less frustrated fans. So yeah, those are some of the reasons why Jim Ryan has not been the most popular due to some questionable decisions he has made. But one thing you can't deny is that under his leadership PlayStation was really successful. They are selling as many consoles as the PS4 did in its current timeline and it even outclasses it sometimes. From a consumer standpoint, it seems reasonable why he is not the most liked CEO of PlayStation but the company is still making the most money it has ever made in the history of PlayStation. He's apparently leaving cause he finds travelling between countries is very taxing for him and is a completely understandable reason. As for how PlayStation will be affected by losing him, I think we will have to wait and see because he just set many plans into motion like the live service push so we have to wait a bit later into the cycle of the next CEO before we judge. But I just hope that the next CEO puts more emphasis on backwards compatibility and tries to improve PlayStation's communication with their fans as well as their marketing campaigns for their games. So what do you guys think of Jim Ryan leaving? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and with that being said, this has been 2367 Ruben, signing out.